we are starting to notice a new pattern of smaller models becoming quite powerful. For example, Mistral Large Language Model is only a 7 billion parameter model and was able to produce a 128k context window, which is four times more of GPT-4 in terms of its older version, not the new GPT-4 Turbo model. But we can see that it's way larger in size, but it was still able to replicate GPT-4's context window. Not only is it effective with its size, but it's also very efficient as it consumes 10 times fewer tokens and undergoes 2.5 times less training, which is compared to its previous methods. Just like Mistral packed the punch to OpenAI's GPT models, there is a new model by Intel, which is shocking itself, and it has released a new 7 billion parameter open source model called Neural Chat 7B. This model is a fine-tuned model based on the Mistral 7 billion parameter model on the open source dataset of OpenOrca. It was then aligned with DPO algorithms, which is another training approach. This is something that currently ranks as number one on the open leaderboard on Hugging Face as of November 13th, which is something that you should definitely check out. The reason why I wanted to showcase this particular project was because of who was backing it and that is Intel. As a profound tech giant, they have done a great job in training and developing this model to outrank OpenAI's GPT models with this small parameter size and many different benchmarks. This is something that you can access today and it is something that I will showcase how to install throughout today's video. So stay tuned and with that thought, let's get right into it. If you are not a part of our private Discord, you are definitely missing out. We give out paid subscriptions for AI tools for free, guys. You're able to get amazing knowledge, different types of courses, research papers, as well as different networking and consulting opportunities. If you're interested in any of this, definitely take a look at the link in the description below as it will definitely elevate your AI game. Now, if you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Hey guys, I started this new thing where if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one with me, you can definitely do so with the link in the description below. I can be giving you my consulting in various different aspects, whether that's AI related, entrepreneurship, and so much more. So if you're interested in this, definitely take a look at the link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Intel's extension for transformers. This is something that greatly supports training and using models across different platforms. This is why I really wanted to explain more about this throughout this video because they were able to develop such a model because of their practical use of its supervised fine tuning method. Now, this is something that has been like prevalent very recently and it's something that they're doing so that they can focus on making the process faster with a specialized Habana Gaudi 2 accelerator. This is something that they had developed in which they can fine tune as well as develop smaller models that can pack a punch. Now this blog is something that's going to guide you through the steps of applying a supervised fine tuning method as well as the direct preferences and optimization specifically on this Habana Gaudi 2 device. Now what they've done is that through this method they were able to fine tune their model from Open Orca as well as from Mistral and they created this new model which is Neural Chat 7 billion parameter model. And it's currently the first in the open LM leaderboard and it's something that has been like fine tuned and trained with their new approach and practice. So you must be confused or you must be wondering, what is this Gaudi thing? Well, Gaudi 2 is an AI accelerator and it was created by Habana Labs. And it was specifically for achieving high performance deep learning training and inference in AI tasks. Now this accelerator, also known as HPUs in code, come with 96 gigabytes of integrated memory. And you can basically access Gaudi 2 accelerators through the Intel developer cloud. And it's something that they have developed so that other people can access and get a better idea as to what these Gaudi 2 accelerators are. Now they've deployed in their server with eight Gaudi 2 uh, cards. And what that basically means is that 
These accelerators are available on the premise infrastructure from Supermicro as well as IEL. And that basically allows you to start using and utilizing the training process with the Intel developer cloud. Now, how did they train this Mistral model to develop the neural chat model? Well, they initiated it through a supervised fine tuning and they were able to select the latest Mistral 7 billion parameter model of a hugging face. And this was the base model that they used. Now, this decision is basically based off of two factors. Firstly, it's a pre-trained model that has shown robust capabilities and it's basically evidenced through the benchmark results. And secondly, the model is then commercially friendly so that it operates under the Apache 2.0 license. So these were the two considerations before they had selected the Mistral 7 billion base model. Now, in terms of the second part where they used the supervised fine tuning, they were able to choose the most recent high quality instructional data set, and that was Open Orca. Now, this was something that was available on Hugging Face, and to carry out the training with DeepSpeed02, they were able to utilize this fine tuning pipeline, which is provided within Intel's extension for Transformers. And they used their own tech to fine tune this model, which is absolutely insane. Now on their Medium page, they have a lot of different graphs as well as a lot more explanation for the different metrics as well as the techniques that they used to develop this model. We can see the training loss curve over here, which is quite good in comparison to many other projects. Now, in the case that they moved forward for optimizing the alignment with human preference, they used the direct preference optimization algorithm. Now, this is known for its stability and computational efficiency. The algorithm basically calculates the probability of human preference data for optimal policy. What this does is that it replaces the reward model necessary for the reinforcement learning from human feedback. It basically formulates a maximum likelihood objective for different types of policies. Now, this preference data set used consists of 12K examples, and these examples were selected from the Open Orca data set. And from this, the responses were generated by GPT-4 or GPT-3.5, and they're considered chosen responses. While for rejection responses, they used the Llama 2 13 billion chat model. And this was used to automatically generate the corresponding completions. Now, this is based on the assumption that the responses are better suited for rejection. And they also, cons like, sorry, not also, but they contribute to the improved alignment. These are some of the details that they showcase with the script. So if you're interested in the script, you can take a look at it and the links in the description below. And as a result, we get the evaluation results. Now we can see clearly that it's the number one open leaderboard large language model with the 7 billion parameter model size. That is absolutely amazing through its fine tuning method as well as a training method from Intel that they had provided. It is something that they developed with other models, obviously, but it shows that their approach to fine tuning and creating such a model is absolutely remarkable. And it's a great step forward in the world of AI. Now, as per the inference, they suggested that the neural chat is entirely compatible with transformers. This is a popular framework for working with natural language processing models. Now, to perform the inference or make predictions in general using the actual neural chat 7 billion parameter model, you can use the same launcher code as you would for any model built with transformers. Specifically, you can run this using the model's name, which is in this case Intel Neural Chat 7 billion version 3, to perform inferences in FV32. Now, this is a floating point 32, which indicates the precision of the numerical representation used during the inference process. Now, this compatibility and simplicity is using familiar code. And what this basically does is that it makes it convenient for users like me and you to integrate and utilize neural chat within our applications or where we're actually inputting it into different workflows. So you may be asking, how can I actually get started and how can I start using this new Intel model? 
Well, you can definitely do so by installing LM Studio. I have made a video on this and it's a way for you to run any open source large language models locally. So make sure you have this installed. Watch the video in the description below. It will basically go through what you can do with LM Studio and how you can run any large language model. So definitely check this out. Once you have it installed, we can move forward. Now, what you want to do is go onto the neural chat 7 billion uh, model card off of a hugging face and what you want to do is copy this model card now what you want to do next is open up lm studio this is an application that you can open up fairly easily and we can see right here you're able to search the model right away if i can have it open up now what i can do is paste the model card that i just copied click go and in this case we're going to be able to find the model right over here which is the one with 417 downloads this was something that was released today you can obviously get started with it by downloading it right now in this case it says might not work but ignore that it will work so you want to install what whichever file size that you would want to play around with in this case i recommend you download the nine gigabytes one or ten in this case download this once you have it download downloaded you can go onto the conversation tab in this case you'll be able to select the model over here on the top once it has finished installing and you'll be able to load it up now in this case you can start chatting with it right within lm studio start generating things as well as start utilizing it so that you can basically export it in different cases now you're also able to fine tune it with other methods as well but in this case i'm just showcasing how you can get started with the chatbot itself so that's basically it for today's video on intel's new neural chat this is an amazing small parameter size model that can definitely pack a punch and many different benchmarks compared to OpenAI's GPT model. It's something to definitely take a look at, not just the model itself, but the approach that Intel has developed. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys haven't already, make sure you check out the Patreon page if you would like to access our private Discord. If you guys haven't followed World of AI, I highly recommend that you do so on Twitter so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn up the bell, check out my previous videos. And with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly soon. Peace out, fellas.